your sense of community when you're free rolling through the mountains rolling through the valley rolling through paradise with me hello everyone welcome to the show well today's guest is an actor a writer and he does stunts time to meet carlisle j williams welcome to the show thanks for having me Oh, it's nice to have you here for sure. And I just want to tell the audience, we tried once before, but for some reason, the forces were not on our favor, in our favor. <laughs> Let's put it that way. That's time. So when did your um, acting career begin? Uh, well, it began around eight years ago. Um, well, from when I can remember, I was probably in the eighth grade, always thinking about acting and how to get started um we had a guest speaker in our class he did a documentary and i went back on my emails recently actually and i saw that i asked him um can i be around set can i join you on set and maybe hang out just to see how it is and uh he didn't get back to me but i kind of put you know the whole acting thing on the back burner because i had no idea how to start so i turned 21 and then i met a friend randomly who gave me the the start package on how to start acting. He told me to go to classes and mm -hmm. get headshots and get an agent. And then, yeah, that's where it all started. Good. good. So is it uh, television or film? What do you do? I do what I can book. Yeah. I, I like doing, um, well, I prefer to do film um, just because I feel that the stories are deeper and allow you to kind of have more freedom. Mm. Nowadays, TV is also getting into that realm where they're allowing you to have more freedom and getting really good stories and not just, um, you know, procedural stuff. Mm -hmm. I like I like them both. Oh, OK. So now I know you do stunts. Now, do you do that with your acting roles or are your stunts a sort of a separate role completely? So with stunts, what happened was I booked a role on Hudson and Rex. Oh, um, okay. and then they had asked me if uh, for some pictures because it wanted to get a stunt double for me. And at the time it so happened, I was actually doing stunt classes, just doing some stuff in a, in a gymnast class for stunts for TV. So I said, Hey, I can do my own stunts. And they were kind of reluctant because I had no footage of anything. Yeah. So, uh, I had to get like run, jump over a fence by being chased by a dog and get hit by a car door and flip over a door and whatever. So it was a pretty, you know, decent sized stunt. So uh, they trusted me and I got to kind of uh, work with some stunt um, actors now and they helped me prepare for that stunt. I did it. And then from then on, I liked, you know, the stunt thing. So I have done a few stunt actor roles, but then I also do uh, stunt doubling and just stunting on its own sometimes. With your stunts, have you ever been injured? Uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing that required surgery at the time. Maybe I should have got, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I blew my knee out. Uh, I was running, I slipped on some sand because the floor was kind of dusty. And then uh, my knee kind of came into collision with the bottom of a car. And it was definitely extremely painful. Um, but I, but I did get frostbite. Uh, from being outside doing a stunt thing for quite like a long time outside, and then um, I didn't have the proper gloves on. Right. So the the snow and being in snow and running and your body's heating up, the snow melting on your hands for nine hours. I developed frostbite for like three months. I couldn't feel my fingers. Nice. So, <laughs> where are some of the locations where your roles have been? I've gone literally all across Canada from, I went to Vancouver, Calgary, uh, all the way to uh, Newfoundland. So I've been across end to end. That's neat. And uh, have you had a chance to uh, do any touristing while you're on any of those roles? Oh yeah. I um Well, luckily uh, we shot a commercial for McDonald's at the Calgary Stampede. <laughs> And um, yeah, I went to the Stampede uh, on my off time, just kind of hung around and seen the sights 
uh, Vancouver, I did the same thing. I got to see the Grouse Mountain and did some hiking and stuff. And in Newfoundland, I walked all downtown in like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> what a neat place. I haven't been to Newfoundland, but it's one of my dreams to go there. Uh, uh, so do you have any roles coming up? Any particular jobs lined up? Um, I have some things in the works now. I can't really say what it is, but I have something in the works coming up. Um, I do have something coming out. I did a Hallmark film in um, October of last year. Yeah. Called Love in High Gear. Love and high in high gear. Love in high gear. Uh, that's coming out. Um, I'd say within the next two, two three months. Very good. Okay. Um, now tell me about your writing. Yeah. So um, writing, I've always been very fascinated with just words and, and story. So when I was in high school, I had an English teacher <clears throat> who I wrote something. I wrote a, a piece and she loved it so much. She got it, got me interview with the Toronto star to talk about what I wrote. Right. Um, as you know, I guess she thought it was very well put together. And, but I just love the fact of being able to make my own stories and write my own things. So yeah, i um, I've written some shorts, uh, not a feature yet. And right now I'm writing a podcast uh, audio series currently. Cool. Very good. Yeah. Now, I know you you a uh, person who likes random knowledge. At least this is what it says on your, your Facebook page. <laughs> I do. I love knowing a lot about a lot. It's um, kind of fun, right? <laughs> it is. Just being able to say, you know, like random facts pop up and you just hear things. and Yeah. You, you take a you take some in and some stuff you don't you know retain but yeah. i love lots of random things random um i have a, a very fond knowledge or interest in like serial killers and that whole crazy world because it's interesting mm -hmm. i love the human mind and how it works and how it's uh, it could be so different from person to person yeah um yeah i i Actually, now I watch uh, a channel on YouTube. Um, it's about pretty much the human body. It is, I'm not in medical school, but I just watch this thing just to learn new things. And it tells you stuff like, you know, why do you have hiccups or mm. how, you know, how do you develop kidney stones? Yeah. Oh, and this random uh, knowledge, on the, knowledge on the body. I That's watch. cool. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I like to watch uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh yeah, I love Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> yeah, that's also, you know, it's kind of uh, kind of gross sometimes, but I find it fascinating how like oh yeah, that if you don't get that little sack out there, that, you know, it's gonna grow back. Like I, I just think it's so fascinating, right? <laughs> I'm just thinking though, when you know, when you're a person who who likes uh, random uh, knowledge, it, it probably makes really good uh, tabletop topics mm -hmm. kind of idea, right? Yes. Um... I I love I also love just talking with people and new people just just having conversations so it, it does help when um and one of my acting coaches Earl Nanhu at EVN Studios he would always talk to us before class and talk about a lot of random stuff he would just talk and talk and talk and sometimes you would think are we ever going to get to like act or do stuff in class mm -hmm. I realized that he's trying to fill you up as a person mm. the more you know the more you can it helps a lot with acting the more you just know of things and the world and just have information inside of you it helps to develop uh your character in, in, without in in the real world and in acting For sure. it helps you're just knowing things so yeah did you did, have you ever done any student films oh yeah well, my They're first fun, yeah First, um, my first, I'd say for four years, three, four years, it was a bunch of student films. I did every university. <laughs> um, and, you know, you, you drive yourself across town and everyone's still learning together and no one's a pro. Everyone's learning from the camera yeah. to the supervisor directing. We're all, everyone's learning the actors. Um, but they actually make some of the best I'd say training grounds because, you know, being in front of a camera is is nerve wracking. And to have that first training 
with like a you know a small set low stakes to now take that and go to a bigger set when you have a you know 55 100 people watching you it does help we have some like groundwork done so student films i'd say are uh, a definite uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't i don't regret any of them yeah right i'm just thinking it's just like i've done some student films that's why i asked it's such a great learning tool right you just sort of see what all of the different roles are in making a film yeah it's a true and yeah, like i said before everyone's learning like because they were all the actors are all learning everyone's learning so everyone's and i love that about making a project is everybody is on the same journey to get the same result right. but in their own way right yeah for sure um i think i've asked everything i think yeah yeah, well, just remind everybody now. You got it. Your, your film's coming up soon. Uh, Hallmark film, um, Love in yeah. High Gear, right? And your what's your role in that film? Love in High Gear. Um, let me give a quick synopsis. Love in High Gear. It's about uh, uh, a girl from a small town. Um, her father's shop, her mechanic shop, is closing. Um, you know they need money to to um, keep it open. And then uh, there's a competition show about restoring old cars. So she goes to this competition show and then her ex-boyfriend is also in the competition as well, uh, unbeknownst to her. And so I play one of the mechanics that's also in the show with them. So there are about five of us, um, yeah, five of us competing for this uh, top prize. Right. I'm gonna have to look for that. I think it'll be fun, especially, you know, like, hey, I interviewed that guy. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you know, you can watch. There's uh, another one that I like to get people to watch. It's a very good project. It's called Family uh, Family History Mysteries. Family History. I'm I'm writing it down. History Mysteries. Yeah, a buried past. That's the episode. That's the title of the of the film. A Family History Mysteries is a, is the uh, series name. Then a buried past is that installment. Um, that's a good one too. I play a doctor in that one. Okay. Doctor who uh, is about a, a detective who uses uh, genealogy to find people. So she'll, you know, take some of your hair and then look for your long lost somebody in the world. Right. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I, I, I said we're going to end it there, but just stay on camera uh, to the audience. So you've been listening to uh, Carla Williams now. So look for him in, uh, in the Hallmark film coming up, um, Love in High Gear and Family History Mysteries. Uh, his episode, the episode he was in is a very past where, he, where you're the doctor, right? You said? Is that right? Dr. Winston Lovett. That's my name. Dr. Winston Lovett. Anyway, thanks you everybody for watching the show. I hope you continue to do so. Take care and peace out. A sense of community till the wax a place to be. A sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley. Rolling through paradise with me It's multicultural You're sure to see it all Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see Come party in the park Go dancing after dark Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see